Have you ever noticed people acting strangely around you? Perhaps they've sensed something special about you. It's not just your imagination. When you live your purpose with a unique and powerful energy, it can unsettle others. Whether it's due to your strong faith, dedication to a worldview, authenticity, or simply being a person who respects God, others can sense this and often don't know how to handle it. In this narrative, we'll explore six common behaviors that emerge when people recognize you as a chosen one and how you can navigate these surprising reactions with grace and resilience. When people perceive that you are a chosen one, they may start offering you things for free. This can be surprising and uncomfortable. Imagine going out for a drink and the bartender suddenly says, the first round is on me, or attending an event where someone gives you VIP access without you asking. This generosity might repeat itself in everyday situations, such as getting special discounts at stores or having your meal unexpectedly paid for at a restaurant. These gestures, while seemingly kind, can leave you confused, wondering why people are doing this and what you did to deserve it. This phenomenon occurs because people see something extraordinary in you. You radiate an aura, an energy that they might not fully understand but are drawn to. It's their way of trying to connect with you become part of your life, or show appreciation for your unique presence. Consider this. The average person isn't often invited to exclusive parties or major events. Many aren't even aware these events are happening. But when you are recognized as special, people start offering these privileges and invitations. They talk about the best shows and events because they want to include you. They recognize that your presence is powerful and that you have something special going on as an individual. This kind of behavior can quickly become overwhelming. You might start to feel that people are overdoing it, which is frustrating because all you really want is to be treated normally, without all the fuss and unsolicited generosity. They might say things like, don't worry, I got the bill, or invite you to events hoping to be remembered in the future when you succeed. It's perfectly fine to politely decline if these gestures make you uncomfortable or seem to come with strings attached. The key is to maintain your authenticity and firmness. You don't need to accept anything just because someone offered it for free. Accept or decline based on what feels right, not out of obligation. Remember, people are drawn to your energy because they see something valuable in you. Embrace this recognition and the positive attention, but set clear boundaries to protect your comfort and autonomy. This way, you can handle these interactions with grace and confidence, ensuring that your unique qualities are respected and appreciated without feeling overwhelmed by unsolicited generosity. Another common behavior that can be quite irritating is that people tend to gravitate towards you when they sense you are special. Maybe you haven't noticed initially, but when you emit this positive and unique energy, people are unconsciously drawn to you. It's as if you were a magnet. Wherever you go, you attract a crowd. Imagine entering a room and before you know it, five or six people are gathered around you. You start to wonder why they are so close to you because they feel you are different, special. Being a true chosen one, you will frequently find people gravitating towards you, almost as if they can't help it. It's like throwing bread in the field. At first, you don't see any birds, but as soon as the bread hits the ground, a flock appears eager to grab a piece. You might think, hey, give me some space. What are you doing? People might try to touch you, invade your personal space, or simply stand too close, making you uncomfortable. It can get to the point where you feel overwhelmed and might even consider moving to another place just to have some peace. These behaviors are clear signs that people recognize your unique energy and want to connect with it as much as possible. They swarm around you, invade your space, and try to stay as close as possible, believing that just your presence can somehow improve their own lives. Although this is a testament to your special aura, it also presents a challenge in managing this constant attention without feeling suffocated. Another thing that happens when people recognize that you have been chosen, and this may seem crazy but it's very common, is that some people may become jealous of you. This jealousy doesn't always need a valid reason. Often there isn't one. They simply feel envious and start rejecting you just to boost their own self-esteem. This can happen with friends, acquaintances, or even colleagues. Suddenly, someone who was close to you may start acting cold or distant. This makes you wonder if you did something wrong, but the truth is you didn't. Their rejection comes from insecurity and the need to feel superior by putting you down. This is particularly frustrating because it's hard to understand why someone would act this way without a real provocation. 
People who behave this way often lack positive energy. They are like energy vampires who need to drain positivity from others to feel better about their own lives. They recognize your bright aura, your angelic energy, and instead of feeling inspired, they feel threatened. They may never admit it, but deep down they know that you have something special that they don't. To deal with this disparity, they reject you trying to bring you down to their level. They want to keep you to themselves to keep your light only for them. If they realize they can't control you, they will intentionally hurt you, making you feel bad to diminish your spirit. This behavior is typical of narcissistic and deceptive people. It's all about manipulating energy to feel superior. They enjoy seeing you stumble because it temporarily hides their own inadequacies. In the end, this rejection is not about you but about them. It's about their inability to cope with your success and the unique light you bring to the world. Another irritating behavior you might face when people recognize that you have been chosen is deliberate ignorance. Unlike direct rejection, ignoring you is a subtle yet intentional act designed to undermine your confidence and self-esteem. People do everything they can to make you feel invisible, and this is not by chance. It's motivated by their own selfish interests, driven by insecurities and the need to feel superior. When someone chooses to ignore you, it's a competitive way of trying to dim your light so that they feel better. They see your success, your hard work, and your bright future as threats. To deal with this, they decide to act as if you don't exist. They might ignore your messages, pretend to be busy when you're around, or simply not acknowledge your presence at social events. This behavior has its roots in jealousy and the attempt to level you down. For instance, a friend might follow your social media, know what you're up to, but never interact with your posts. They might hear about your achievements but act differently when you share your news. Deep down, they hope to create the illusion that they are leading equally busy, successful, or important lives as yours, when in fact they are just trying to shake your confidence. This deliberate ignorance is frustrating because it is so sneaky. You know they are aware of your presence and your achievements, but they choose to act otherwise. It's a calculated strategy to make you doubt yourself. For example, you might see them posting on social media right after you try to connect, blatantly ignoring your attempts while trying to appear busy with their own activities. These actions reveal their true intentions of bringing you down so they can feel superior. It's a toxic dynamic motivated by the inability to celebrate the success of others without feeling threatened. Stay confident and true to your path to overcome these petty attempts to dim your light. Another frustrating behavior that people exhibit when they recognize that you have been chosen is the constant bragging about their achievements. You'll notice that certain people feel the need to show off every time they are around you. It's as if every conversation becomes an opportunity for them to flaunt their latest accomplishments. They might say things like, I just bought a new car, or I'm going to an exclusive event tonight. They share about their expensive purchases, the money they've earned, or the high status events they're attending. This constant bragging can be quite tedious, as you end up sitting there, forced to listen to them trying to outshine you despite your efforts to be friendly and supportive. Their need to compete with you is clear. They seem to want to match your energy or even surpass it by constantly highlighting their own achievements. Feels like they believe that by doing so, they can reach your level. You might respond with genuine congratulations, trying to be polite and encouraging, but it seems that every interaction with them revolves around their need to prove something. The most frustrating part is that these people often seem disinterested in your achievements. As soon as you start sharing something positive about your life, they quickly change the subject or act as if they didn't hear you. They might pretend to be busy with something else or respond indifferently. This behavior makes it clear that their goal is not to have a mutual conversation, but to dominate the dialogue with their own achievements. It's a subtle yet persistent form of competition driven by insecurities and the need to be seen as equally successful or important. Understanding this can help you comprehend why these interactions feel so draining and one-sided. It's not about you. It's about their need to feel validated by trying to overshadow your light. Lastly, the sixth frustrating behavior you will encounter when people recognize that you have been chosen is being blamed for their own problems. This can be surprising, especially coming from people close to you, such as a partner, friend, or family member. When they face problems they can't solve or don't want to take responsibility for, they shift the blame onto you. For instance, your partner might say, it's your fault we argued, even if the argument had nothing to do with you. They might argue, you told me to do the dishes, 
twisting the argument to imply that you are somehow responsible for their frustrations. This behavior stems from their difficulty in dealing with their own problems. As you are a strong presence in their lives, it is easier for them to attribute their issues to you. They see you as a scapegoat for their own failures and deficiencies. They might say things like, we couldn't get into the party because of you, or we missed this opportunity because of you, even when the real reasons have nothing to do with you. They prefer not to admit that their own actions or lack of action are the true cause of their problems. People who blame you for their problems are usually motivated by jealousy and insecurity. They see your success and the positivity in your life, and it bothers them because it highlights their own inadequacies. By blaming you, they try to undermine your confidence to feel better about themselves. This behavior is quite common in people who struggle with low self-esteem and need to bring others down to feel better about themselves. Blaming the chosen one is a way to avoid facing their own failures and mistakes. They might say things like, you are the reason I didn't succeed, or it's your fault that I'm unhappy, to justify their lack of progress or satisfaction. Recognizing this behavior can help you better handle these interactions. Understand that their blame reflects their own issues, not a true judgment of your actions. Keeping your confidence and continuing on your path despite their attempts to bring you down is crucial to protect your mental and emotional well-being. In conclusion, being recognized as a chosen one brings unique challenges. While it is inspiring to be seen and acknowledged for your unique energy and purpose, it also attracts envy, competition, and blame. The people around you don't always know how to handle your presence and may react in frustrating and confusing ways. It's important to understand that people's reactions often reflect more about their insecurities and struggles than about you. Navigating these interactions with grace and resilience is crucial. Setting boundaries when necessary and remembering to stay true to yourself are fundamental. Embrace the positive recognition and the opportunities that arise, but don't let others' negativity discourage you. Your journey as a chosen one is significant and powerful. Continue to shine your light and let your inner strength guide you through these challenges. If you enjoyed this narrative and want to delve deeper into this journey with us, consider joining our channel community by clicking the join button. And don't forget to share your stories and experiences in the comments below. See you next time on the Sephiroth channel.